two, three hours waiting in line for these. Hmm. Well deserved. And two fifty. And we'll get the new ones on Black Friday. Yeah. Yo, nephew. Uh -oh. What's up? Did I just hear you say two fifty on some shoes? Everybody hey, flossing these new jeans. I don't think yeah. it'll work. <laughs> oh, you give mom anything for the electric bill? Nah, I didn't. Know. Oh, so you found two hundred fifty dollars for some shoes, but you couldn't give up nothing for the electric bill? Man, y'all gotta get your priorities in order. Wait till your grandpa find out about that. Yo, pop. Yo, yo, yo. Man, your grandkids gone crazy, man. Man, this ain't the first time, and I know this ain't gonna be the last time. I keep trying to tell them over and over again. He ain't go one of his elections. Right. What did y'all call the police? For what? Because, man, y'all just got robbed. You don't even know what Black Friday means? I just know it's when black people go shopping on a Friday. Black people can't afford it. That's right. Well, making you afford them lights is about to get turned up. I have it next week. Man, leave those kids alone. Are y'all ready to yes. ask? Well, there you go again, pacifying those kids. That's why they went out and spent over $400 on some nonsense. And that's why we're going to be in the dark. You going to eat that food in the dark? It's really going to be Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> he has a point. I remember when you sold your car on Black Friday. Let him know, sis. Here she go again on her soapbox. No, I let her talk. She's speaking the truth. Don't even get me started on Black Friday. Y'all should be boycotting if you ask me. Boycotting? This ain't MLK days. Ain't nobody boycotting no more. <laughs> Nephew, pay attention. And you too, D. Nephew, did you know the average white family income is 91000 and we're nowhere near that? No, I didn't know that. Well, did you know that collectively, the black community has a buying power of $1.3 trillion? Do you know what that means? What that mean? It means we are forced to be reckoned with. We can turn this thing around. If we hold our money, we hold the power, but we have to stay united. They're right, nephew. Now let us break it down for you. Make it plain, make it plain. The black household family earns about 59 cents on every dollar compared to a white family. You obviously went out here, you're spending money that you don't have. So let me tell you really what Black Friday is really all about. That was something that was started during slavery. They were bringing slaves down to the auction and sell them at a discounted price. And they make it cheaper by the dozen. Now how long did you stand out there? About oh, four or five hours. Mm -hmm. Four or five hours. Mm hmm. Mm. You stood out there till you was frostbitten, huh? Yeah. Hey, bro, I couldn't even get him go to the Million Man March with. Me. Well, what is the Million Man March about? 10, 10, 15? That was the second Million Man March. The first Million Man March was about a day of atonement. It was about us coming together to collect the. Hey, what's going yeah, on there, bro? How you doing? <laughs> you know, just getting off work. What's going on with y'all? Nothing, man. Now that you walked in on the conversation, they telling us that standing in line. To buy two hundred fifty dollars J's is wrong. What you think, cuz? You know, I get it. I get the perspective, but <laughs> you gotta look good, you know. But you know, they old. Oh, <laughs> oh man! man. <laughs> Let me wow. tell you something. When I started out, it wasn't even like that. It was about family, love, and we talked about Jesus. But pop, hold up, son. Respect your elders. Yes, sir. It's about family, friends, love. And if you let me ask you something, how much you making out? About fifteen dollars an hour. And you work a forty-hour work week? Yeah. So just for the sake of this conversation, you make about six hundred dollars. You stood in that line all that time for two hundred and fifty dollars. Actually, it was four hundred dollars. Papa bought me and my uh, son things. Yeah. What? And that boy can barely Wait, walk. Wait, let me finish. Your check was six hundred dollars. You spent four hundred dollars. Heck, if you had went to work, you would save seventy five dollars. So let me wait. Five hours in line? Five hours? Man, you got played. <laughs> and nonetheless, like you got less than two hundred dollars for the rest of the week. And you gotta feed yourself, feed the kid, fuel the car. Oh yeah. And you gonna give up some money for that light bill. And I bet you ain't got nothing saved, do you? Don't even answer that dumb look on your face tell me everything I need to know. Young man, you got any assets? Any savings bond? Anything for retirement? Let me tell you something. Come on, man. When I was coming up, we didn't even promote this type of suicide. We worked together collectively as a family. And we didn't give our money away to things that don't even benefit us. I'm saying, we got bank accounts, though. That we using $150 
for a baby that can't even walk? That's ridiculous. Let me tell you something. It's all about family, family value. Do you value your family? So much that you spent $400 on some shoes, 67% of your check overpriced you and yourself and your son that can't even walk. But we save enough. And the bill's getting paid. Damn. 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 Lend me your ears to hear one of my greatest fears. And that's that my people remain unaware. Black Fridays encouraging bad spending habits, making us broke in the market black for those who understand it. Great habits. This wasn't for us. That means me, you, you and you. Breaking pockets, late bills, lying, giving the collector spills like I'll have it next check. Lying. For that cheap big screen, unaware of the grand scheme of things that break. Things with no value. Things that stop mattering as soon as you left the store. We are whores for the sake. Bypassing bills and rent. When that money could have been spent investing in a mortgage, something that's yours. Black Friday means not a thing to those of us who grasp the concept. Because we're one step closer to being free. Free we be when discounts dangle no longer cuff us. Free we be, but free we ain't. Like those door buses they used to lower us in the first place. Fueling an economical beast, it's gripped so tight it clouds judgments and financially dismantles generations. And along with it go souls and dignity. Nonsense to the conscience. We don't process the impact, but willingly throw stacks at it like booties on poles. Hell, at least we'll put her through college. I'm hoping you grasp the knowledge that my brothers and sisters expose. Black Friday may be tradition, but we walking in this road alone, chanting down with Mr. Fat Pants, better known as Santa. I'm holding up my banner, hoping you believe us, bartering for my car, screaming down with Santa, up with Jesus. Jesus, this Black Friday beast was meant to defeat us. But scores we settle when collectively our buying power is redacted. Let them figure out how their bills are going to get paid. Watch the spike in suicides and mass shootings rate when that struggle becomes real. We consider it a new heartbeat, a new black Wall Street, a new engine, a new will. But it only works if I'm carrying you and you carrying me. Standing in solidarity, saying, down with Santa, up with Jesus, is the way it's gotta be. Our money talks, standing solidarity saying down with Santa up with Jesus is the way it's got to be. We educating our people standing in solidarity saying down with Santa up with Jesus is the way it's got to be. Walk with me. Lend me your ear. Defeat my greatest fear as we stand in solidarity saying down with Santa up with Jesus is the way it's got to be. And if you believe it, you believe it in me. Say it down with Santa, up with Jesus, is the way it's got to be. And that's strength and belief. Peace.